Good morning, kindergarten. For today's craft activity, we're going to use a paper cup to make a cheeky little spider. <laughs> this is one that I already made, but I'm going to show you how we can go about making our own one. Let's have a look. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long dangly legs. He's got some eyes and some cheeky little fangs to catch flies, but you might choose to do something a little bit different for yours. I was trying to make him a brown colour, but that looks a little bit, maybe a bit purpley. I was trying to mix some different colours to make brown. Um, but I'm going to show you how you can make one of your own. So let's put my little spider back down here. Down you go, spider. So. You need to grab a paper cup. You can buy some from the supermarket or what I did when I had a coffee this morning, I took it home and I just gave it a good clean in the sink and then dried it all out so I can do something called recycling. Using something again is called recycling. So I'm gonna recycle my coffee cup and turn it into a spider. So maybe you might go to get a coffee with your mum or your dad. Maybe you might get a hot chocolate or a baby chino. You could make, use your little cup to make a spider of your own or you might go to the supermarket and buy some paper cups. So, this is gonna be the body of our spider. Next, what else did our spider have? It had a body, it also has eight long legs. And my friends, I found it a bit easier to put the legs on before I painted my spider. So let's do that, I'm gonna show you what to do. You need to get some wool or some string or maybe some pipe cleaners if you have them. But just something that you can use that's long and dangly. I'm using some wool. Some wool. And I chose blue wool for this spider. So I'm using some blue wool. So I'm going to get one, two, three, four bits of wool. So they're my legs for one side of my spider. And I'm going to use some masking tape to stick it on. Now I'm using masking tape because masking tape is easy to paint over because masking tape is made of paper. If you just have sticky tape, guess what? That's okay as well, that will still work. So I'm gonna get a piece of masking tape and I'm going to get my legs and I'm gonna stick one on. I'm gonna stick two on, can you see? stick three and four so this is the legs for one side of my spider I'm gonna get my coffee cup and I'm going to stick its legs on there we go so that's the legs for one side of my spider and if I just left him like that he would fall over wouldn't he he needs some legs on the other side so let's get another piece of masking tape Masking tape is good as well because you can tear it. You don't need scissors to use masking tape. Okay, let's count again. Four pieces. One piece. Two pieces. Three pieces. And four pieces. Let's stick it on the other side of my spider. There we go. Around and around. And around and around. So now, four on one side and four on the other side equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight all together. So my spider has eight legs, just like a real spider. I wonder what color legs you or my spider might have. I think our whole spider needs a bit of color. Now my last spider I did brown, but then I was thinking if I'm making a spider, Maybe I want to make him Spider-Man colours. What colours is Spider-Man? I bet some of my kinder kids know what colour Spider-Man is. You see these colours? Red and blue. So I'm going to do some red and blue on my spider. And the fun thing about a coffee cup is you can put your hand inside it while you're painting. I'm going to start with some red. Put some red over here. Red, red, red. 
lots of red. Next, I get a bit of blue. If I mix these two colors together, do you know what color I would get? I'd get purple, wouldn't I? But I don't want a purple spider this time. I want a red and blue spider because my spider is going to be a Spider-Man spider. Maybe I'll put some more blue over here. Lots and lots of beautiful blue. And then lucky last, I've got a little spot at the end. I'm going to do a little bit more red in here. What colors are you going to choose on your spider? Maybe you might make a black spider, or a yellow spider, or a pink spider, or a brown spider. Should do some colour on top, shouldn't I? Mm, maybe I'll do a bit of red on top. Actually, you know what I might do? I might do a red circle, and I'm going to do a blue dot in the middle of the circle. How's that? Looks a little bit like Spider-Man, kind of. Now while, you can either let this dry and then you can stick on your eyes and teeth with glue or if you stick it on now, you can actually use the paint a little bit like glue. So let's get some paper. What shape do we need to cut out to make the teeth? What shape are they? They're triangle, aren't they? You might choose to do a different colour. I'm going to choose triangle colors, uh, triangle shapes. Triangle a color? No, triangle is a shape. You can say, silly Jim, triangle is not a color. There we are. One triangle shape. And two triangle shapes. Now, I'm very, very carefully going to try to stick them on. Here's the front one, and two. Because my paint's not dry yet, it you it acts like um, a little bit like glue. There we go. So my Spider-Man spider has some teeth. Now I need some eyes. I'm going to cut circle shapes, but you might choose to do a different shape. You might choose to give your spider square eyes. Maybe your spider's been watching too much TV. You might choose to give your spider oval eyes or semicircle eyes. There are lots of different shapes. Oh, I don't like that circle very much. I'm going to try it again. You can try lots of different shapes and then you can choose the one that you like best. Go one circle. I like that one. I'm going to do another circle. Two circles. Now, spiders in real life, do you know how many eyes they have? I'll give you a clue. It's the same as number of same as the number of legs they have. So they have eight legs. They also have eight eyes. So maybe you might choose to be really clever. You might choose to give your spider eight eyes. I'm just going to do two. And give my spider a pupil. There's one. And two. There we go. Okay, oh, it's got a bit of paint on myself. So I'm lifting up my spider and I remember I'm using the paint to glue my eyes on. One eye. And two eyes. There's my little spider. There's my little Spider-Man spider. Ready to go swoop around and save the day. Maybe he's gonna be friends with this spider. Hello, what are you doing? I'm looking for some flies. I'm gonna go make a spider web. Oh, I'm gonna go make a spider web as well. Let's go together. Bye-bye. Hmm. So they're off to make a spider web. And I wonder if you're off to go make your own spider. Wonder what colors you'll choose. Wonder how you're gonna make your spider. Have fun and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.